Clown Chefs, what are some of the things you think that God would want you to give him? Uh, a ticket to a Mets game. Ha <laughs> ha! Nobody wants those! <laughs> Not even your friends! <laughs> maybe, maybe God wants my cell phone? Uh, maybe my computer? Or my Wii! Oh. Oh. God wants things from our heart. Such things as our worship, our obedience, our time, our prayer. Oh, so Chef Dan, do you mean that if I give to God and then share what I have with others, that God will actually give back to me? I love that. Do you know that God's word says that he loves a cheerful giver? The Bible says God loves a cheerful giver, so that's why we should give happily to God. Because tonight, you will learn that God has instructed the Israelites to give the first fruits. Chef Dan, first fruits? What exactly does that mean? Uh, I, I bet I know. I bet it's that God doesn't want us to give him our leftovers. He wants us to give him our very best. Exact amount. Excellent, Melody. So, Chef Dan, you told us the secret ingredient for today, but what's tonight's Bible bite? Oh, uh, c'est bon. It goes right along with our secret ingredient. Don't forget to do good and share what you have because God is pleased with these kinds of sacrifices. Hebrews 13, 16. Good. It does kind of feel good to give. You know what? I feel so happy to be able to share what I have with kids who maybe aren't as blessed as I am. Good job. I mean, imagine if the babies didn't have enough to eat. I would want someone else to share with them. Yeah, you know what? That felt really good because it feels great to share. And I love giving happily to God. Oh, so all week long, you chefs in training, you're going to try to earn money for this ministry right here, the angel food ministry we're talking about. Okay. Does that mean that God is here with us even during our worship time? That is exactly what it means. Wow. So I can give happily to God. Oh, my worship also. So it's not just about giving money, right? So I can give God my praise, my my life, and my time. We oui. you're well on your way. Wait, turn in your chef's hat, Rainbow Jack. Alright. Right. How do we worship? We worship with our feet. We worship with our hands. And with our voices. Everyone scream really loud. So what are we doing? We, we want to say here, here's God, but today we're going to be saying. Right there, ready? Mix it up, though. And that's going to cue the music. It's really fancy here. So in the count of three, we're going to sing that together. And then you guys are going to copy us with whatever moves we dance with to worship God. Are you ready? Come on, let's sit on our feet. And then on the count of three, say, mix it up, Doug. One, two, three. Mix it up, Doug. Come on, put your hands together like this, guys. Yeah. Um, I, I can get somebody else if you want. 
No, no. That won't be necessary. I'm just stopping in for a quick bite. Um, I have some big festivals to plan for a huge client. The biggest client I've ever had. <laughs> a celebrity? Oh, excuse me. I love celebrities. Wait, let me sit down. Who is it? Tell me right now. I love celebrities. I can't take it. Who is it? Is it? Is it Justin Bieber? Is it
Hospital. We thank you for every child in Shaken Up Cafe. We pray your blessing upon each boy and girl as we learn about God's Word and your special recipe for our life. We pray for every parent, every grandparent, every aunt, every uncle. May the windows of heaven open on us as we just learn about God's love and your goodness. We pray this in Christ's name and all God's people said, Amen. Amen. God bless you.